Whew, man, I have not done one of these warm-ups in a while because I really haven't had the opportunity. I mean, two weeks ago, I think, was the first normal work week I've had uh, in months just because of stuff happening in meat space to the extent that like I just could not get the concentration of time that I needed to like get anything done. It got me thinking though, like, you know, I moved to Toronto like two years ago and um, I uh, really haven't like completely gotten a groove anyway and uh you know and then I was like thinking about that like well ugh, like what is that what would it look like like what like what is missing what did I have before and I sort of started thinking about it so I'm like gonna doodle on that um so like I wake up pretty reliably at about 7 30 like you know within a delta of you know, a few minutes around 7.30 a.m. just without an alarm. I haven't had an alarm in years. Um, and it's only if my girlfriend's got one that I, you know, be party to it. But I never set an alarm myself unless I, like, have to get on a plane or something like that. Um, but uh, sort of the one thing that I'll do every day is go to the pool. And pre-pandemic, Back in Vancouver, I would like, so I'll like get up at 7.30, oops, and then I'll go to the pool at like, I don't know, like 10. And, you know, so what is that? Like, almost, like it's like two and a half hours, like it's, you know, you get up, you have breakfast, and then like maybe screw around for, you know, reading what fresh hell is on the internet for a while and then ski daddle off and then I would bang off like three kilometers I would go there in my suit because the, the pool was like four minutes away on, on my bike I would just wear my bathing suit even year round because uh, it never got that cold in Vancouver and I would just go there I'd bang out three kilometers I'd come back I'd be like back at my desk like an hour and a half later so like 11.30, you know, maybe 11.45 if I'm, like, slacking. And then, you know, I might eat something for lunch, and then I've got, like, the rest of the day uh, to do stuff. And now I'll get up at 7.30. That's not even in the screen. And in Toronto, the pool doesn't even open until 12.00 any of them either um and it's farther away so i actually have to like depending on like when depending on like like how long uh, uh whether i'm taking transit or whether i'm like because that's the other thing too is like sometimes you don't want a bike um but it's 15 minutes on the bike about on either side and again like if it's warm enough i'll just like bike in my suit and i'll just ride there and ride back but it's so I'm usually there like if I'm doing 3k I'm there until like 1 10 or something like that and then uh if it's 4k this is the other thing too is is the I'm paying a top dollar like unlike Vancouver Toronto pools are free except they all suck so um I'm paying top dollar to go to the university pool which is actually a 50 meter pool and the only one in a 25 kilometer radius and it's it's only open for like three hours a day well there's like i mean the other times it's open or not and like the ones the city pools the ones that are free are actually like open less like you can't just go and swim they've just been rammed full of programming of various kinds so <clears throat> So in Toronto, I'll get up at 7.30, and then I've got this, like, expanse of nothingness, basically, until about 11.30 when it's, like, time to go. Does this thing, like, not... There we go. You know, 11.30, 11.45, depending on, like, I'm riding the bike or not. And then I'm back. It's, like, I'm back at around 2, 
and then I don't really like this is the other thing too is like then there's like lunch and then it's like if I really thrash it hard in the friggin' pool, like I am tired and I like, I just like, I either need like anything from a 20 minute disco nap to like, you know, pass it out friggin' full on for, you know, face plant for three hours. And so the bottom line is, is like, it's 5 p.m. Well, sorry, it's like 3 p.m. by the time I, you know, might have fed myself, maybe not, we'll see, I don't know. And then it's like, okay, so close a business, you know, your standard end of business day is 5 p.m., maybe 6 p.m. There's really, like, not a lot of time. So, like, this freaking thing takes up. Like, not only is it in, like, the worst part of the day, but it's also, like, it takes, like, anything between two and a half and three hours as opposed to, like, an hour and a half. So, like, not only does it take way longer, it is in the wrong place. And so that means, like, I need to work until if I'm going to do any serious amount of work, I basically need to do that uh, until midnight. And this has been like messing with me, like especially over the last couple months because I've had my girlfriend kind of de facto living with me as her roommate did some, something real stupid uh, and she had to move out and uh, find another place and move in the middle of a hyper busy friggin' job. And uh, so she basically moved in with me for two months. Uh, and then it was the holidays, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I'm like, well, I didn't get this chunk of time, which is like, you know, in the last two years has been the only time I've ever actually had to do anything. Cause like, there's not quite enough time here and there's not quite enough time here. Whereas back in Vancouver, like pre pandemic, like this was just like catch up on stuff, do the pool thing. And then like, I could even go like, Full, you know, I could work twelve hours solid after that, and now I just don't. I just don't have that. My day is like broken up in a funky, messed up way, and I. So, this is movable, but only later. Like I can only like it only opens at noon, and you know, so like I can go, like I can push it maybe an hour later. This is the other thing too, like. Uh, the thing that I was participating in over the uh, summer last year, like all of the meetings happened right here. And uh, that was, yeah, anyway, that was, some of it was harder to, to deal with than others. So I've been sort of thinking about operational capacity in general and like just what the hell am I gonna do with this? Because if this part, you know, like the after dinner before bed shift is like gonna have to be like how I like get anything done because or you know what I wake up like way the hell earlier I start using an alarm again get up at 5 a.m. I mean I was getting up at 5 a.m. I get up at 5 a.m. almost in the summer half the time anyway just because it's bright but uh yeah anyway this has been bugging me for a while so um I'm gonna think about that a bit this week but anyway I'm going to finish my coffee.